the Traxxas slash Stance Nation Edition. Look at that tuck. No, I'm just kidding. The suspension's been broken off of this truck all the way around. And uh, unfortunately, she's out of commission for the moment. If you take a look here, I've got some shocks that came on the truck that are in pretty bad shape. The retaining uh, ring is gone off the bottom of this one. Uh, this was on the front of the suspension. And then we have the other ones here that were in mostly intact shape, but came apart at the skate park this past weekend. Um, and you can see all of the oil and everything like that on them from where they collected all the dust and everything after they exploded. So bottom line is I'm making this video here as a preview to what may come in the future. So as you can see, I've got the wheels off. I have the shocks off and I also have the original motor removed with the original pinion gear along with the original ESC. So, that means what is in this then? Well, let's take the body off, let's take a look and we will investigate a little bit further. So, inside here, this is um, the new ESC. It's a Castle um, SCT combo. So this is the same combo that you would get from Amazon for about $115. I got a little lucky, got it on sale cheaper than that. But this is what uh, is in the truck right now. It's a 14 series brushless motor. Um, the motor itself is censored as you can see here, but the ESC is not, which I think is kind of a goofy decision considering it comes with all the wiring and everything. I don't understand why they made that kind of a decision. Um, but the ESC is not set up to be censored. Um, kind of, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But regardless, I'm not going to use the censored motor. The only reason I bought the censored combo was because it was uh, such a good deal. Now, as you can see, I do have the cooling fan on here. Um, it's just a little Intiggy brand. It's like a $6 fan just to get a little bit of extra air moving over top of that motor. Um, the ESC does come with the stock cooler so you right out of the box get a cooling fan for the ESC um, overall the electronics have been swapped they'll be getting more swapped here at the end of this week this uh, the Traxxas receiver is going to be gone this is going to be replaced with a FlySky receiver I've got the FlySky IT4S I think is the name of the controller on the way it's got probably one of the most advanced controllers you can buy for less than a hundred dollars even less less than $200, it's still one of the leading ones out there. Um, and then of course, I do have the stock servo motor from Traxxas. I think this may end up being replaced with a Protec T100 at some point um, once the servo saver gives up the ghost, which you can see is still kind of tucked up underneath of there. It's intact, we don't know for how long. So, what are the plans for this truck? Well, it's a great thing. Uh, great thing to go over because I'm going to be making a series of videos here um, in the next week or so once I get the parts. So we've already discussed the motor, the ESC have been swapped. That was the first step. Um, this is the two-wheel drive model as you can see. Uh, it was not the brushless version so the motor that came out of this was the Titan 12T 550 brushed motor. It was a good motor. Um, I had the speed gearing on it for a couple of days and it was all right, but didn't really scratch the itch that I wanted. Um, so I went ahead and upgraded to the Castle system, which is plenty fast on 2S batteries. I've been using these Z brand 2S batteries. Um, they are 5,200 milliamps. I got a pack of two of these off of Amazon for about $30. They're very affordable. Um, I think they're a great price for what you get. Um, you know, technically you get 10,400 milliamps out of the package um, for, for two batteries for 30 bucks. Not bad. But that being said, we're going to step it up here a little bit. We actually have one of these batteries on the charger right now, right here on my high tech B6 IMAX charger. Um, these are 5,500 milliamp 
Ovonic brand. Uh, these are soft-sided batteries. Um, they're 3S, and as you can see, 5,500 milliamp. And these two batteries combined were about $60 from the Ovonic website, which I still think is pretty reasonable, considering that this is a 3S battery. Um, and I've already plugged it into the chassis, and uh, it's way bigger than the, the stock battery is. It's way longer right here, and is a little bit hard to, to stretch to get it in. But that's also something that we're going to talk about here. Um, the chassis that's on this right now is the high center of gravity chassis, which is stock with all of the uh, slash models. I think maybe the monster model or the um, platinum edition has the low center of gravity. Um, so what I've done is I've ordered the, um, my body almost fell here, quick shot at it. It's just covered in Gorilla Tape on the bottom side, give it a little bit more rigidity, a little bit weight, a little bit more weight. Um, what I've done here is I have ordered the low center of gravity chassis, which will be here probably Friday uh, at the end of this week. And in addition to that, I've ordered uh, Proline Power Shock shocks. Um, with associated oil, uh, 40 weight oil, because I'll be doing a lot of jumps with this. I plan on taking this to the park, or the skate park, I should say, and bashing it a lot. Um, and maybe taking it to my local track, but I'm not sure. Um, the other thing, big thing, right here, these are gone. I think these are 2.2s that come on this truck, and uh, these are going to be replaced with the Proline Trenchers. Uh, I think they're on Desperado rims and those are going to be 2.8s so you may have already picked up where i'm going with this this truck is going to become a monster slash which is the next step up in my opinion at least logically if you've got a slash this is going to be the truck that um, you build up as your first build and so as part of the slash the monster slash build um, a lot of things are getting replaced essentially the only thing that's going to remain for the time being is going to be the servo motor and then the front end linkage for the steering linkage with the servo saver um, and then the internal part of the transmission and the rear drivetrain. So other than that, everything's going to be replaced. I have the RPM bumper mounts for the back on the way. I have the RPM rear bumper on the way with the RPM hideaway wheelie bars. So a lot of RPM parts going on this uh, on the body and in addition to that we've also got the RPM front bumper and um, underplate that comes with that for the low center of gravity chassis. Um, in addition to that we have a lot of RPM parts going on this. R RPM is uh, has really got the best bang for your buck as far as the slash body parts and chassis parts go. Um, We've got new A-arms front and rear on the way. So, so far, you can take a look at mine here. They are in good shape. There is no cracking um, yet. There is no breakage yet. Um, but it wouldn't shock me if here soon um, that these A-arms give up the ghost. So instead of bashing on them until they break, I'd like to keep these for a um, maybe a different build and just try to conserve as many parts as possible instead of destroying the parts that are on it for the sake of just beating it up. Um, and then I do have the Proline extended body mounts on the way so that I can get the body lifted up a little bit more. Um, this is the blue slash uh, short course truck body. I plan on keeping that because I'm going to have to trim a little bit of the fender well here where my thumb is at and a little bit above the top of the wheel well there for the rear um, because of the rub that's going to happen with those bigger tires and the bigger suspension travel. Um, so anyway, this video right here is going to be the first of a few. I don't know if we're going to do a couple of them as I build it or if I'm just going to do a, just a big recap video after it's all done. It kind of depends on the order of things coming. I know that mostly everything is scheduled to be here on Friday. This is being recorded on a Tuesday. So things may come in at the time they're supposed to come in. They may not come in when they're supposed to come in. Um, but I'm planning on taking this out this weekend when um, a lot of guys are going to be out. I'm going to try to meet up and take it out and bash. So stay tuned. Um, see what comes in the future here. Hopefully we can make a running series out of this so that I can show people that have never done this before. Um, this is actually going to be my first 
big RC build. So I've had a couple of crawlers. Uh, I've had a cheap WPL Toyota crawler that was very short-lived, and then I bought a uh, Red Cat Racing Everest 10, which is a very competent crawler. I'm just um, not in the crawler mindset right now. I bought the Slash because I wanted a little extra speed, and the Slash pretty much had my heart from the get-go. So we're going to be building the Slash here first. This is going to be my, my, like I said, first mod, custom, whatever you want to call it, build. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So if you guys want to laugh at somebody that has no idea what they're doing or be surprised at how well I may do, tune in, subscribe, like, whatever you got to do to do that. Um, ring, the, ring the dinner bell below, whatever you got to do. But stay tuned because there will be some more updates on this coming within the next, hopefully, the next few days to the next week. Thanks for watching.